So I left Hayes, I left the college in 2015 when I graduated, but I didn't actually leave the town. Um, we got, my husband and I got married and then we lived in Hayes um, for four years. I taught just up the road in Plainville and I got to teach and then I coached volleyball and basketball. And then last year I was um, offered a job in Newton, which is my alma mater. And it was to teach fifth grade and coach basketball, which was my exact same job position as I was doing in Plainville, but with my whole entire family um, in that town. And it was something that I just couldn't pass up. So we moved back to Newton um, last year and I taught fifth grade for a year here. And then a principal job opened up in one of the elementary schools and um, I was lucky enough to land that. So. As of last week, I'm the principal at one of our local elementary schools, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have two daughters. I have a two and a half year old. Uh, her name is Jessie and she's a fit buyer. And then I have a seven week old baby named Maddie. Um, when I look back at my time at Fort Hayes, uh, the basketball comes second to the relationships that I was able to build and the education I was able to get. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I loved playing. I would go back and play again in a heartbeat, but my best friends came from college. I'm still in touch with several of my teammates. Um, the jobs I have are 100% because of the education I received at Fort Hayes. Um, one of the top education programs, you know, in the nation, and it's true. That it was great. Uh, so definitely, friendships, education, basketball, kind of in that order. All things I would love to come back and do again, but uh, it's not an option. <laughs> Oh, there are so many memories. It's hard to choose just a couple. Uh, I'll stick with the appropriate ones, I guess, for the sake of this video call. Uh, probably one of my favorite ones are when we uh, won the MIAA title. I think it was the, in 2015. Um, we beat UCO and we kind of won on a, a, a Carrie Shaw took a charge um, and it was one of the, it was a charge block call and she got the charge call and it was kind of a game, game changing call and we won the title. That was pretty cool. Um, and then definitely the tournaments, the regional tournaments, and when we got to host, there's, I mean, nothing will ever beat hosting regional tournaments and playing in the Sweet 16 on our home court, um, filling the stands for a women's Division II basketball game, uh, nothing will beat that. That was pretty cool. Um, playing for Coach Hobson was awesome, great guy, tough love which is something in my role that you get a lot of. And so that definitely helped. Um, uh, you know, Talia Miller and uh, Coach Kerry Hostetter are also huge influences, great coaches. Um, Kanisha Petaway was actually also one of my coaches freshman year. And I mean, they have left just a huge impact on my life. And I only got to have uh, Coach Kerry and Keisha for one year. And I mean, they did so much for me. And then Talia and Coach Hobson also just immeasurable amounts of knowledge. <laughs> They're both just so knowledgeable about the game and life in general. Great influences, great people. As far as, you know, the Hayes fan base goes, I touched on it a little bit earlier. One of my favorite memories being the regional tournament and, you know, the stands being packed for a girls division two game I, I mean we just don't get this kind of attendance anywhere else I think I saw a stat last week that said Fort Hayes was number two in the nation for division two I think is what I saw which is just I mean outstanding um you know you have Mr. Bickle who dances along the top railing I you know timeouts you're supposed to listen but you can't listen when that's happening behind you you've got to watch <laughs> uh and I mean just all the other fans in Hayes it was amazing I would go to church and see people that I had seen at the games, um, you know, in the st grocery store, you see fans. And that's part of why we stayed in Hayes for so long. And it was so hard to leave last year. We could walk up and down the day, you know, literally walk our block and run into two or three Fort Hayes women's basketball supporters, which just is unheard of in division two towns like Hayes. So 
love the support. So thankful for the fans. So thankful for my time in Hayes. I could not have asked for a better college experience on the court, off the court. It was just really a great place to be.